At times, you may run into situations where you need to manipulate a string. Sometimes the easiest way to deal with that manipulation is by converting the string to an array. The object wrapper for the string data type in JavaScript comes with a method split. Split allows you to convert a string to an array. And as a part of that conversion, depending upon which character you use as the delimiter, you may also be able to manipulate the string in a way that benefits you. So first, let's take a look at split. And then we'll take a look at some examples of how to use it. Now, since the split method is part of the object wrapper that is associated with the string data type, you access it using dot syntax. So you would start it with the string first, and then a dot, and then the split method. The split method then takes two possible parameters. In most cases, you only use one. But let's talk about each one of those. So first off, the split method returns an array of strings. So it acts on the string and then returns an array of strings. Now what that array consists of depends on what you use as the delimiter and the limit value. Now the delimiter is a character or characters on which the string splits. So basically what you're determining is how you want to divide the string up and you specify that with the delimiter value. JavaScript will go through that string as soon as it encounters the character or characters used as a delimiter, it will then cause a break to occur in that string. The first part of the string will be the first element in the array. Everything on the other side of that delimiter will be the next element in the array until it finds another delimiter and then it splits it again, that will be the third element in the array. So the delimiter is usually a character. It can be a string of characters. It can also be a regular expression if you choose to. Now, the limit value simply specifies the maximum length of the array. Now, as I said, this particular parameter isn't used as frequently because it's optional. There's no need to include it. But if you knew for a particular string you would get a very large array and you only wanted the first few elements or something like that, you could then add a limit to the split method. So that's the method. Let's now take a look at a couple of examples. The first example we're going to take a look at is a URL and how you can parse a URL using the split method. Now here we have a URL. And let's say that we need to do something with the query string. And so we want to extract the query string and extract the two name value pairs that exist in the query string. So first, in case you're unfamiliar, you're probably all aware of this, but this part of the URL is a query string. It follows the question mark. Now there are other methods on the object wrapper for the string in JavaScript you could use to accomplish this, but splitting the string into an array seems to be a much simpler approach. So what we want to do is use the split method and indicate a delimiter of the question mark. That way, the first part of the URL will go will become the first element in the array. The second part of the URL or the query string will become the second element in the array. The question mark, since it is the delimiter in the split method, it basically is done away with. Now we have the query string by itself and we can begin to work with it. Well, we can even split it apart further using the split method so that we can work with each of the individual name value pairs. 
So we do another split method and this time the delimiter is the ampersand character. The first part becomes the first element of that array. The second part, the ID, becomes the second element. And then of course the ampersand is done away with since it's the delimiter. We then of course could do a split on each of those so that we're dealing with both the value and the name in the name value pair. We could separate those out by using a delimiter for the equal sign on the split method. So this is the first example we're going to take a look at. So let's do that now. Okay, on this web page, I've added a query string. Let me just pull the browser down a bit so you can see that. At the very end here, you can see the question mark, user equals Steven, ampersand ID equals 5312. Now this query string is not doing anything on this particular page, but it will allow us to illustrate how we would accomplish this. All right, I'm going to jump to Sublime. Here is the HTML page, which we have been looking at. Here's a JavaScript file that's attached to it. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to grab that URL. I'm going to place it inside a variable. We do that using the window object. We go to location. Location is also an object and it contains an href attribute which basically is the URL that's in the lo location bar. Just so we can see that, I'm going to log the URL to the console. Let's save that really quick and just take a peek. And refresh the page, open the JavaScript console. And here is the URL and you can see the query string at the end starting with the question mark. Now back to Sublime. Now that we know we are getting the URL, let's go ahead and split this apart so we can work with the query string. I'm going to place this in a variable parts. So URL dot dot syntax to access the split method for that string. And then inside of the split method I'm going to put a delimiter. The delimiter I'm going to use of course is the question mark because that's where I want to split the string on. So that I have the query string in the second part of that array. That would be the first split that we would perform on the URL. That would allow us to access the query string. And then I need to do a second split. Well, why don't I just do it, since I'm really after the, the values, the name value pairs in the query string, why don't I just do that on this line of code instead of writing a second line of code? So if you remember, what gets turned from the split method is an array of strings. So we can specify which one of those we want to access in the normal way that we access array elements using the square brackets. Now I want the element in position one. That would be the second element. And I want to do another split on that. This time the delimiter is going to be the ampersand character. Now what that should give us is the name value pairs each in its own separate position in the array. Let's just take a look at that by logging it to the console. That should be the first name value pair. And this should be the second name value pair. Let's go ahead and save that. Refresh. And sure enough, that's what we got. User equals Steven, ID equals 5312. 
At this point, we may, we may want to do another split to continue to work with the data which we have from the query stream. Now, before we end this video, I want to look at one more example of split. In this case, we're going to split on the space character. So let's say I have a long string. Whoops, it's not how you spell cow. Here's my string, and I want to just access all the individual words within that string. Well, the way to do that would be to split on the space character. str.split and then inside parentheses we simply enter a space in between quotes. So now we have an array with six elements in it. Each element should contain a word. Now just so we can see what we've done, what, what I'd like to do is log to the console this array but I'm going to use a method that's available as a part of the array object that allows you to combine array elements together into a string. And that method is join. And then we simply specify what character we want to use to combine them together. In this case, I'm just going to put a hyphen between them. That will allow us to see that the string was split by spaces and then we were able to put them together to visualize that. Let me save that, jump out, refresh. Sure enough, here's our sentence. It's all placed together now with hyphens in between each word. Now knowing that concept, you can apply this method to a number of different situations whenever you need to manipulate a string. So you may not always need to use the other methods that are a part of the string object wrapper in JavaScript. There may be many situations where the split method may be more helpful. Thanks for watching. If you found that helpful, subscribe to the channel, like the video. And for other resources, on JavaScript, you can visit our website.